Hello and welcome to Let's Talk. My name's George Kingsnall. And in the background, we have the dolmen that I've been using for Gully Media's logo for the last few years. This is Bally Keel Dolmen on the side of Sleeve Gullion. It's been a busy couple of weeks. I have been teaching and I've also been doing workshops and I've had meetings with people from drama groups who were looking to do radio drama and TV drama. What I found quite interesting about my meeting today was that the people I was talking to were looking for someone with expertise to come in and help them do a radio play. But as they talked and I listened, I realised that they all had the skills they needed. They didn't need anybody else. Over a period of about 18 months, they produced 80 radio programmes. What I discover is that a lot of people feel they don't have the capabilities and they have to get someone else in to come and take over that role. When in actual fact, if they looked at their own skill sets, they could quite happily do the things they have set out to do. So it makes you wonder, why do we not have the confidence to do the things that we do? Why do we constantly keep telling ourselves that we can't do things, when in actuality, we are quite capable of doing the things that we set our minds to? In my discussion this morning, we realized that they had all the technology they needed and the technical skills to put together the little programs. And they were quite high level of skills to work on those programs. But this is the point. We don't realize how much we are able to do. And all we need to do is just put our mind to it and think through the problem and solve it. I've opened up another channel on YouTube and the purpose behind that is to start exploring a number of religious and theological themes which I have been working on over the years. I've worked on sort of Christian television and I've been talking to people of different faiths about why they believe what they believe. And this channel is going to give me the opportunity to explore those themes. In the past I've studied the religious quest as part of an open university degree. I've also done a certificate in theology and lifelong education and at the moment I'm doing some training on a diaconate program. The challenge for me is to start to step out and record videos relating to these subjects. And it's quite difficult because again like those people I've been talking to there's a certain fear that will I be able to get it right? Will I mess up? Will I get everything wrong? And do I have the authority to say the things I want to say. And in reality, I've studied enough and I've talked to enough people to get the information I need to put across. We each find ourselves on a journey. Those journeys are all unique, none of them the same. But what's really good when we allow ourselves to share those stories with other people is that our audience gets to see what we're like and can also start to relate to the subjects that we're discussing to their own experiences. And I think that's important. What I am trying to do at the moment is to show how valuable everybody's story is and how much you can help other people by sharing that story. Nobody's lived the life that you've lived already. Nobody ever will. But you have some unique perspectives in which you can share with other people. What I'd like to see is in the comments below is your stories in a few words or ideas that you'd like me to explore as stories and suggestions to the kind of material that I should be exploring. So for example, I'm going to be looking at why do we believe in Christianity if you're a Christian? Why do you believe in Judaism if you're Jewish? Why do you believe in Islam if you're a Muslim? Why do we believe in Buddhism if we're a Buddhist? Why do we believe in nothing if we're an atheist? Or do we believe in nothing? Why is it that as human beings, we want to explore certain ideas? Why is it in certain areas, we become so defensive of those ideas that we're prepared to kill other people? And is that really what it's all about? Or should we be discovering something else where we begin to realize that although other people have different perspectives to our perspective, that we're really just trying to do the same thing. And again, that's why we should share our stories so we can relate to others, how we think, how we feel, and then adjust as necessary, depending on what we hear. 
but also to show respect for other people and their stories and to help lift them, especially if they're feeling isolated and disconnected from the communities that they live within. So please subscribe to this channel, put down some ideas in the comments and share those with other people. Tell me what you're interested in and how we can explore those, especially if we're wondering about why we're here and what this is all about and why the struggle or not, as the case may be. And I look forward to answering some of those questions that you may have, if it's at all possible. And if not, I'll try and do some research to find out how best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I look forward to hearing your thoughts and sharing future videos about where things have gone for me in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching.